Hey everyone, welcome to this video where we go over everything released in the update. There's not a crazy amount, but it's good content this week, so let's go over it. The map this week is Neo Fortress. It is part of the Holoborn story, even though it doesn't look like it. But if you read the cutscene, it's actually not too bad. I would recommend it. Normally, I've been skipping cutscenes lately, but this one wasn't that bad. So, the merch shop here has a whole set of items in it. Looking alright. Uh, male version, not so much. But female on that one looks nice. It's got some bigger bulky armors. These aren't CC. They're just uh, two different color schemes there. A uh, bunch of different hats. You might like the one with the feather in it. There's not a lot like that in the game. A lot of cowls. Kind of a little hat there as well. And a little hat there with hairstyle. A uh, couple of hammers. Bow hammer. And that is all other than this. So this actually has like a massive bubble around your character. You can see here, if you actually look closely, there's like a whole bubble that goes all the way. Pretty cool idea for a ground room, kind of like a mana shield thing. I'm usually pretty negative about ground runes, like I'm not a big fan of them, but this one's actually a cool idea for one, so I did actually farm this. Uh, so if you want to farm this, uh, the sigil, all this stuff is from the boss. So this sigil of vindication is actually a drop, it's a ground rune drop, it's a 1% drop. Uh, the Vindicator badges will just drop off the boss and the orb. Uh, the orbs you can actually get from the boss at a faster rate than from the mobs. So if you're quick killing the boss, it might actually be faster than mob farming for the orbs. So keep that in mind as well. So I just recommend doing the boss farm when you're going for this, if you're going for this item. And then other than the items in the merge, there's also drops throughout the map. Here's all the drops I got. This might not be the full list, uh, just to clarify. But I was farming for a long time. Like I farmed enough to get the cape. I farmed a 1% drop off him. Hairstyles. Pretty nice. Pretty nice hairstyle. Seen on my character there. I'm actually I'm actually going to pick that up to be honest. So yeah, let's pick that up right now. Uh, it's a different one for males or, or both. You know, either or. Uh, honestly. Hammer. Cape with a rune on it. Pretty cool. Uh, AC tag. Uh, the ground rune drop to actually merge the rune that my character has equipped is AC tagged. So keep that in mind as well. If you're looking for that. So you can buy it back actually. After you merge it, you can go to your buyback shop and get it back if you want the version of it. It's the version of this that doesn't have the bubble. So it's just, yeah, not the bubble. If that appeals to you. Uh, so hammer and this. So this drops off the uh, mod version of in the map. Uh, I think the hairstyles came from the, uh, the soldiers around the map. Uh, and then the, the hammer and everything below it, other than the pet, came from the boss. So, best of luck if you're looking. You'll get most of these things just from normally farming. Just I'm just showing them to you to let you know that they exist in the game more than actually telling you where they are. Because I don't 100% know where they came from in the map. So... Yeah, that's that's the release for this week. There was also additions to the 10k chest that we'll go over now. Okay, so you can see the 10k chest equipped on my character, which means I purchased it. Uh, I don't purchase every 10k chest. I well, most of the time just buy like a few thousand ACs worth of items out of them. But this one actually has a good deal of stuff added to it this week. So any swords like this, not a huge fan of that. Definitely didn't pick it up for that. Got a Holoborn variant of it. I'll try to be quick with the preview here, but some axes are an addition to it. Uh, that's good. Flames, there's actually a color custom to eye color one here as well. Flames are color custom eyes, these ones. Fun fact with these actually, I learned, if you want the, just the hand thing without the eyes, if you go to your character customization and you go to eyes and you make it black, it just disappears. Gray, they're there. Black, they're gone. So if you just want the, the like hand things and not the flames on them, change your eye color to black. Easy as. Uh, so kind of a cool little little thing there. Uh, and it works on the armor too. There's a, there's a new armor they added that has like a flame animation. And if you black out your eye color, it completely stops the animation on the actual armor too. So uh, little water guns in the update. There's duels and singles of these. I haven't actually checked if they have an attack animation. I'm going to do that for you guys right now. All right, I'm using the single one that is tagged as a gun, so. No. Oh. Okay, it doesn't work with some classes. Let me change. Okay, I swapped the healer. And it does have the animation, but it's scuffed. Uh, so. 
It does have the... It has a... Um, halfway there. Oh yeah, fun thing about the chest too is it changes colors. Like it has like an animation to swap. You might catch it here. Yeah, right there. So actually kind of cool thing about that chest as well that others don't really do. Uh, I'm not really trying to sell you the chest here. I don't know, but I'm pretty positive about it. It's, it's not that bad. So it, the duels don't have the gun animation, of course, because they're duels. Right, for Holoborn one. Holoborn one does have the eye color CC as well on it. And that looks like this. I actually want to see because I haven't seen it myself. Uh, yeah, that's red doesn't look great on there. Some colors don't look too good with it, but others do. Like blue, blue looks nice. So, yeah, blue eyes. Gonna have a cool looking water gun there, and it makes sense for the, for the water as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's some decent weapon selection. One thing I really, really like. Okay, these are new as well. One thing I really like from the weapon selection that they added here was uh, the brand new surfboards. So where are those? Oh, here you go. So they're actually a different shape than the ones that they constantly recolor. Uh, so we got a new shape for the surfboards. This is so easy here. Um, very nice. I very much like the shape, hopefully. Yeah, so you got a Holoborn version and a Glacial one. So very cool. These are actually available for free for gold from the AC shop. You don't have to buy a 10k chance to get them. I'm showing the chest because I like to preview at my house since it's zoomed in. Uh, some of the stuff is available for gold. Uh, most of the armors are like eight or nine hundred ACs. Uh, those prism, those like flame gauntlets were four hundred a piece, which I think is a pretty expensive for that. But yeah. Anyway, so these are new this week. All right, let's get rid of these. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So as far as armors, I said I was gonna be quick with this, but I'm not being quick. I'm. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Yeah, come to watch this video. You're going to see me talk about AQ items for a while. So, new ar armors. Kind of looks like the uh, the Gladiator character from Diablo. I'm pretty sure you can get the exact outfit. Uh, new swimsuits. Animated. Uh, the actual snowflakes are animated on there, which is cool. Not color custom. Sadly. Hollowborn one is CC. I actually haven't seen this one. Colors. I can never tell if this Holoborn ones are CC because my eye colors are is orange and has been orange since before Holoborn was in the game. I'm not changing now. But uh, yeah, not, not too bad there. That. Yeah, new swimsuits are nice. Uh, I do like them. So you got more versions of that armor. Not all of them are color custom, of course. You got Holoborn one, which is also color custom. Uh, the animation on this one's actually CC. So, that's good. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? I actually really, really like this one. I think it's sick. I wish it wasn't eye color, but... What can you do with that? It's all born. That's kind of like the signature thing, being eye color or CC. But, yeah. Pretty, pretty slick looking there. Not gonna lie on that one. Definitely pick those up. Good rares. I got a prismatic one as or a, like a fire one as well. Can't change. I got the edge runner stuff there. Very cool. Uh, for hairstyles this week, there is I don't know why I'm starting at the bottom. Now we're here, but the hairstyles this week, there's twin tails that are actually sick. Uh, these and uh, some Valorant cuts as well. This is a viper. I don't play Valorant. I don't. I don't know. This is actually a Valorant one as well. Uh, the guy with the f that has the flashbang, I think. I played like a couple hours of Valorant. I have not played it. Not too familiar. Are these are new as well. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So here we go. Uh, so there is actually a Holoborn one, and the Holoborn one is CC. Uh, you can see the red here on that is actually not eye color custom on hair crazy very much like it so you got hair cc on the top and then a different and near the bottoms are hair cc which is very nice same with the viper one and then of course the glow in your face is eye color custom so just like the armor or the hollowborn armor now there is a glacial version of the twin tails but it's blue locked uh but you can change the hair color so at least the whole thing isn't locked in but 
Uh, the rest of it is blue and you can't change it. So good there. And a pretty a decent little update to hairs. Now capes, I, I think the whole, whole, all the capes in the uh, 10K are pretty big L in my opinion, with maybe the this being the exception, but even this, I'm not too big of a fan of. I think if it was a little larger, it'd look nicer if it was like on an off axis angle. But yeah, um, there are some new capes this week, but nothing too extraordinary there. No new pets. And there are some ground runes like this one. Not a big fan of the little spikes coming up. Bottom part looks all right. You got an orange one as well, which is eye color custom on the orange. And then just this one. And that's it. That's it for the 10k chest. That's all the additions to it. Uh, so I actually bought it now. I thought it, was, it got close to 10k. I think it maybe what I think with all the. Well, the surfboards were gold and stuff, but you get the AC tagged versions of gold items, which I do actually put a value to. Not really a price tag value, but I appreciate it being AC tagged, so I can swap it in on my bank without having to buy more bank slots for additional ACs. Uh, so that's a good thing about buying the actual 10k chest. I'm not trying to sell it to you. Don't buy it if you don't want it. Uh, just get, get a few good items. Get the uh, the Edge Runner's hairstyle, the Lucy hairstyle from the from it. Uh, but um, yeah, that's all. I think it's a good chest. I bought it. So I, I guess by proxy, I would recommend it if you want my thing, but it's all cosmetics, so you don't need it. You're just, you're buying cosmetics, so. But yeah, I think it's pretty decent. As far as summer 10K chests go, summer ones are pretty lame. I don't know if you guys remember the last summer 10K chest. I think it was the last one. Half, it had like, it had like 15K AC worth of items in it, and half of them were seasonal. So it had like 6K AC, total of rare items not even just the ones you like like total like half the value of the chest was seasonal items not even rare um that happened recently with the chest so this one is a lot better than that uh and i think it's one of the better summer chests we've had period let me know if you have a more favorite summer chest than this one if you have one it's a weird way to for it if you have one you like more than this one i'd like to know leave a comment down below with your favorite summer chest and uh yeah leave a like on the video subscribe or close to 69,000 on the channel would be nice to hit and i'll see you in the next one peace oh yeah there's still one more week of items being added to the chest so even though i think it's worth it now there's still more items being added they haven't announced it on these design notes or anything so we don't know what they are but there are more coming like probably one more set so i don't expect a crazy amount of more items to be added but probably like one other set